Hello, hello, students. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Rosita. How are you? Uh, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Jenny. Are you feeling better, Rosa? Mm, what? Are you feeling better? Are you feeling better means if you are better with your health. If you feel um, a little bit better than before. Es que ahorita le estoy dando de mamar a mi bebé. <laughs> ah, it's okay. It's okay. It's like the question, are you feeling better means te sientes mejor? That's the sí. question. Okay, that's very good. Sí, sí. I'm good. You are good. Oh, Lily, you are at home today. No problem. Yes. <laughs> okay, it's good to have you here. And for sure, it's good to have everybody in a new day and in a new class. Today, we are going to be working a lot. We are going to work on comparatives. We are going to work on superlatives. That's why I ask you to create um, the list of adjectives on the audio for you to investigate a little bit about adjectives, right? So that was the reason, right? You see, <laughs> I was thinking about tonight, right? Ya cuando les pongo la tarea de la, del día, ya, ya va con, con cola. <laughs> because as we are going to use adjectives for, uh, for the comparatives and superlative forms, for sure, I wanted you to investigate a little bit about. Okay, so that was the reason. Thank you for all the ones who sent the audio today. And thank you to all the ones who are constantly pendant of the platform. When your friends say, I need help, I need help. And you're there trying to help everybody. With the platform, you have to be very careful because it is very picky with the punctuation, with the letters and everything, right? La plataforma es un poquito quisquillosa. De repente, si no le puso punto, si no le puso el question mark, si no le puso la mayúscula, si no le puso esto. So, you need to be very careful with it, okay? You have to be careful with the platform. And uh, if you need any type of help, for sure, remember that you can ask for it, okay? So, today we are going to start by finishing the presentations that were missing yesterday. And uh, later on, we are going to start with the topic of the day, okay? So, uh, is any of you here missing? Let me see. Let me check. Who from the ones that are here is missing? Chan, chan, chan. Okay, no. Jen, let me see my notes. <laughs> let me see. Okay, Jenny already presented, Lily as well, Carlitos too, Josue presented, Claudia, Claudita, did you present yesterday? No, teacher. No, right, Claudia. I don't connect it. Okay, Walter René, yes. Eh, Luis Fernando, yes, right. Astrid, yes. Jose Arturo. Yes. And Rosita, uh, you are missing, okay. right? No, you put to, for the presentation. Yes. Let me see. Eh, no, pero ayer no presentaste, ¿verdad, Rosita? No, ayer okay. no. Okay, okay. Entonces tengo a Claudia, a Rosy, a Ever. Eh, let me see. Alejandra, yes, right, you presented yesterday, yes. 
and Sandra Cecilia. Sandrita, yes, you presented yesterday. Okay, so we're going to start with Claudia, then we're going to go with Ever, and we're going to go with Rosa. ¿Alguien más de los que están aquí se me quedó? No, era todo ya bien presentado. Yo los tengo en mis notas. Okay, so Claudia, you can start by telling us your uh, favorite profession, what is the one that you admire, advantages and disadvantages. Good evening. Hi, good evening. My favorite profession, uh, I would have really like it to study dentist. Oh. It seemed like a very uh, interesting career. Um, one of benefits is being able to uh, build dental pieces and help with other symptoms of the face and bite. Okay, what are some of the disadvantages of being a dentist? Mother? What are some of the disadvantages of being a dentist? Advantage is from ventaja. La, no, las advantages you mentioned, ventajas. right? That, Ajá, la, la ventaja ya la mencionaste, que puedes ayudar a la gente, que puedes hacer eh, piezas dentales, ayudar con algún otro problema del rostro. Those are advantages. What are the disadvantages? I think it is, uh, it, it's a very expensive career. <laughs> yes, that's a first disadvantage, right? Very expensive. Little, uh, little detail, I, right? A little. <laughs> uh, I think it's, it's the main advantage. The main, okay, the main, the main reason, right? The main disadvantage, mm -hmm. the cost, the cost of the career. Good. So thank you very much, Claudita. Thank Keep you. working on your dream. Very good job. You did a very good presentation. Reactions for Claudita people. You know, you can keep working towards your dream, right? Siga, pueden seguir trabajando a su sueño. ¿Quién quita y ahí la clínica de la doctora irá y está? Y ahí van a llegar todos a que le vean los dientes. So it is like, yeah. So it, it, it is a dream that you can achieve soon, very soon. Uh, Mr. Ever, go ahead. Good evening, everyone. Hello. Uh, main, uh, main, uh, I was coming to uh, remind for yesterday and of course with uh, some co worker because uh, I want the uh, profession that I find interesting are doctors. Because I think that they have uh, a, spe a special function in the life, say the life and helping with a general health, uh, for more help people in a specific uh, health areas who they need. You now, and also I think uh, that they play a very important role in society too. Um, that's what's it, uh, the one, uh, uh, this, uh, how do you say this? Uh, as disadvantages. Disadvantages, thank you. The one disadvantage that is uh, a one profession that's very long and very expensive too. You know? uh, they, they need a great sacrifice and devotion to 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 manage to do this profession too. And I think it's very demanding too. And the profession I'm very well paid finally. Yeah, indeed it is one of the best paid professions, right? But it is really complicated because I mean the life of a different person is on your hands, right? So you have to be yeah. very, you have to be very careful with every detail, every medicine, everything that you do with your patients. So ever continue working, right? No hay edad para ser doctor, so 
work on that work on that and i think if you if you dream about it and if you like it go ahead go ahead y si no logramos ser doctor well paramedic helper a nurse right anything related to your dream it is a very good thing i always say that uh, you don't need to be a doctor to help everybody right yo siempre les cuento que mi mamá es, es enfermera pero a ella le gustaba un montón y le gusta todavía cuando el doctor hacía operaciones y todo, ella se metía a ver todo. Y ella sabe hacer todas las cosas del doctor. Hace mini cirugías y toda la cosa. So she's very good. ¿Ya ves? La curiosidad. <laughs> she knows a lot. And that, that's really awesome, right? Because, I mean, it's, it's her dream and she's, she's following it. Thank you very much, Ever. Reactions for Ever, people. Very good job. Very nice dream. And Rosa Esmeralda, go ahead. Uh, my favorite in Korea is uh, um, disagree, disagree in language. Ah, a degree in language, degree, sí. degree sí. In, in languages, in language, because um. I want to learn uh, uh, mm, uh, kids. Uh -huh. uh, uh, personas adultas, ¿cómo se dice? Adults. Adults. Uh, you, you, want to, you want to teach. You want to teach kids you want to and teach adults. And adults. Okay, um, teach, porque me dijiste, I want, I want to learn kids, pero learn es aprender, uh -huh. teach es enseñar. Uh -huh. uh, I want to teach adult, uh -huh. um, but uh, in my opinion, high uh, team, um, Uh, the, the language English is, um, uh, is important in, in, in El Salvador. Es un idioma muy importante en El Salvador. It is one of the most important languages in El Salvador. Um, um, Uh, and also, I consider uh, that I consider my people is patient, patient. Me considero una persona paciente. Uh, I consider myself a I patient, myself a patient, a patient, a patient person, person. Uh, I, I think language, um, I can, I can open the opportunity, uh, in the, in the travel, the sea. Okay. Ah, uh, uh -huh. uh, and also, I uh, disagree a language because uh -huh. I I I uh, I want to manage a <laughs> call center. Okay. Good. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. Well, but that's not a disadvantage, right? But uh, a degree, a degree on languages can help you become a manager in a call center. But in the call yeah. center, if you want to be the manager, you want to be, you have to be first on the floor, then taking calls, then working, <laughs> supervising, observing, and then you can become a, a manager. But it's possible. It is possible indeed. I have many students 
that are in very good call center positions now. It is possible, but it requires a lot of practice. So Rosita, if you want to get a degree in languages, you need to practice English for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, midnight, every time, all the time, every day. That's the only way. Yo desayunaba, almorzaba, cenaba, inglés. And that's the way you do it, right? Si te gustan las películas, in English. Si te gusta la música, in English. Si te gusta platicar, in English. So, you will make it. But practice, a lot of practice. And you don't have to feel afraid of anything. No tienen que tenerle pena a nada. Yo creo que si estas 20 personas que estamos en esta reunión queremos ser exitosos en el idioma, lo primero que tenemos que quitarnos es la pena. Ay, me van a oír. Ay, me van a corregir. Ay, no me van a escuchar. Ay, no, van a saber que hablo inglés. There's no problem with that. You are getting more and more of your life, okay? The only person that is going to criticize you is the one that doesn't speak English. El único que lo va a criticar es el que no habla inglés. Y que no se ha metido a estudiar. Y que dice, mañana comienzo el curso. And they never do it. Those are the ones that criticize. Leave them be, okay? Practice your English. Practice with your friends. If you have a friend who speaks English, practice and that is going to be really helpful okay I, I used to have a friend yo tenía una amiga que era como mi mejor amiga y decíamos si estamos juntas y una de las dos habla español le pago un dólar a la otra <laughs> and, and we were like and and the, 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 you know uh, the, but we were trying to do it in english no spanish because one word in Spanish was one dollar for the other one. So I leave you there the challenge. Not one dollar, 10 cents, 25 cents. But it helps a lot. Si tienen alguna amiga, un amigo, un conocido, alguien que habla inglés, o que esté aprendiendo inglés, do it. And it will help you a lot. On the bus, on the store, on the street, everywhere. Do it. So. And who's next? The ones that are missing? Después de Rosita, ¿quién me faltaba? Thank you, Rosita. By the way, sorry. Reactions for Rosita. She is going to be an English teacher. And when you become a good English teacher, call me. Then I will give you the first opportunity to work. Okay. Cuando llegue Rosita con su título y todo, yo la voy a contratar. Y allá va a dar clases en la academia conmigo. So, go ahead, Rosita. I give you the motivation to do it. Okay. Okay, thank you. Gaby, go ahead. Okay, good evening. Hello. My, my profession is a nurse. Uh, it's a person with human brain. Nursing in compass the autonomous nursing, the autonomous and collaborate, collaborative care of people of all age and families, groups and communities and in healthy and in our city. Nurses are the forefront of service delivery and play in an important role in person centered care that's all for the microphone Is that what? It is a very good profession. It is very good. You help a lot of people. You, uh, I mean, you are in service all the time, right? It's a social service. Apart from a job, it's a social service. Do you have any disadvantages? Any disadvantage, or do you think there is any disadvantage about being a nurse? 
¿Hay alguna desventaja en ser enfermera? For you? Yes, no. I I know, but if you have need uh, uh, human service and then don't don't matter the hours or the or days. Um, okay, you you have to have you have to have the human service feeling, right? Or the human service characteristic in order to do it. So mm -hmm. thank you very much, Gabi. Very nice profession. Here we have doctors, nurses, paramedics, everything. I think we have the complete hospital now, even the dentist. Hasta la dentista tenemos ya. And we have the lawyers and we have everybody involved to, to this profession, right? Even the rock stars that are going to sing on the hospital for the patients. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, my dear Gabi. Uh, is anyone else missing? Hay alguien que me falte? Chan, chan, chan. Talk now or keep silent forever. Good evening, miss. Hello, Jasmine. It's my turn. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, you were missing. Here I found your name. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, good evening. Um, the profession that is most important to me is uh, networking. Okay. Currently. Because they help many people to earn money or increase their income. Uh, regardless of their school level, of the second grade or university, doesn't matter. Uh, networkers worldwide traveling for city to city. Uh, I like that in the job, they can travel around the world and visit many countries with beautiful places to have a cup of the coffee. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, the difficulty is that working with people face to face, and uh, they are different cultures, and, and that is it can also be a challenge. People have different characters, and that can be stressful, and they must always be available to work but it can be done from anywhere okay it can be done yeah from anywhere yeah. <clears throat> networking that's yeah. a curious job and it some people who can do it very well they can make a lot of money definitely yeah i mean you have yeah. to be very smart you have to be very very clever on that right for sure the characteristics of people are very important Dealing with cultures is very important, right? It is difficult to understand a lot of cultures together. Believe me, that I know, I know about it. It is difficult, but not impossible. Not, not impossible. impossible. Yes, practice, no? practice. Yes, <laughs> definitely, definitely. Yeah. So uh, it was a very good thing. Very nice, Jasmine. Now I feel curious about working in networking. Hmm. <laughs> Y teacher Nati ya nunca dio clases. Se hizo network. <laughs> We are just She's for Jasmine, yes? She's in Bahamas. <laughs> She's in the Bahamas. They're working. working. That's, that's what I, I feel motivated now. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Jasmine, for motivating me to work on that. Well, I am going to call the attendance before everything, and then we are going to move on to the new topic. Alejandra Cristina? Here. Astrid Michelle. Here, teacher. Blanca Estela. Carlos Alfredo. Carlitos Alfredo. Present, teacher. Thank yes, you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Don't worry, don't worry. Por eso no me enamoro yo. <laughs> Claudia Yanet. I'm here, teacher. Ever de Jesús. Present, teacher. Gabriela. Thank you. 
Present. Gladys Imelda. Griselda Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jasmine Vanessa. I'm here, Miss. Joaquin here. Ruperta. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Mr. Joaquin. Don Joaquin, where are you? Uh -huh. Se nos ha perdido, Don Joaquín. Eh, José Arturo. Present. Thank you very much. José Emanuel. Mr. Emanuel. Parranding. Eh, José Isaías. Your teacher. Lilian Estela. Present. Luis Fernando. Present teacher. Luis Roberto, thank you very much. Luis Roberto. Mr. Luis Roberto. Eh, Madeline Gabriela. Madeline, Madeline. Perdimos a Madeline. Manuel Aristides. Manuelito, Olivia, Ernest, Paola María, Present Teacher, Rosa Esmeralda, Present Teacher, Sandra Cecilia, Sandrita, Walter René, and Jenny Maritza, Present Teacher, Thank you. And Walter, yes, right. Present, present. No, I have Walter. Thank you very much. Let me see. I am missing one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, cool. So, my dear class, we are going to move on a little bit on the topic of the day. I ask you today to investigate about adjectives, right? Because we were going to work a little bit on the comparatives and superlatives. What are these? The comparatives and the superlatives are the ones that you use when you talk about two different things. And the superlatives is when you talk about the best of this, okay? Los comparativos son dos cosas. Los superlativos es la mejor de todas, solo una. So that is the main uh, difference between them. Something that makes them very special are the yes, different... Yeah the different letters that accompany them okay the different letters that accompany the uh, the adjectives for example if you talk about the comparatives you use the er you say this is <clears throat> bigger this is be uh, this is what prettier this is longer this is larger right and you use adjectives in that way. But if you use uh, the adjective with ER, is a comparative, right? But if you use the adjective with the EST form, you are going to create a superlative, right? So we need to be very careful with these forms of comparatives. And we are going to use comparatives with the forms as and as, okay? So, I already called the attendance with the comparatives and I have a little practice for you, okay? Here it is. Esta la vamos a ocupar para romper el, el hielo de todas las presentaciones. Y, ay, qué complicado, right? This is a thong twister. I know you have seen them before. Yo sé que ya los han visto antes, right? A thong twister is... A little practice for you to improve pronunciation and fluency. We have a lot of these in Spanish, right? De, en español tenemos un montón de estos. You have Pedrito, uh, Pablito, clavó un clavito en la calva de un calvito, right? You have a lot of tongue twisters, like tres tristes tigres, tragaban trigo en un trigal. And we have many in Spanish. But in English, we also have. And we have this one. It's Pussy Woozy was a bear. Pussy Woozy had no hair. Pussy Woozy wasn't very fussy, was he? <laughs> don't try to make them sense 
algo que sí en los trabalenguas no le busque sentido. Because it is just for intonation and matching. And the next one says, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? <laughs> So it is it is not impossible, people. It is not impossible. I see your faces like teacher. Come on. My tongue is broken only only that thing. <laughs> only to think about it. Let's work on the first one. Okay, vamos a trabajar en el primero. And this one. This is the easy one, right? This is the easy one. And here you have Pussy Woozy was a bear. Go with me. Pussy Woozy was a bear. Pussy Woozy was a bear. Pussy Woozy was a bear. A bear, no, porque ya, ya ustedes ya andan pensando en otras cosas. Pussy Woozy was a bear. Pussy Woozy was a bear. Pussy Woozy had no hair. Pussy Woozy had no hair. 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 Hair, porque hace el match con la palabra bear. La palabra yeah. bear en hair tienen el mismo sonido. Pussy Woozy was a bear. Pussy Woozy had no hair. Pussy Woozy wasn't very fussy. Pussy Woozy wasn't very fussy. Okay. Pussy Woozy wasn't very fussy. Was he? Pussy, 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 Okay. With the tongue twisters, with the tongue twisters, you have to work a little bit like a song, right? So you say, Pussy Woozy was a bear. Pussy Woozy had no hair. Pussy Woozy wasn't very pussy. Was he? Practice with me. Que no le dé pena. Come on. Aquí la pena no se conoce. Go ahead. One, two, three. Pussy Woozy was a bear. Pussy Woozy was a bear. Pussy Woozy wasn't very fussy, was he? 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 There you go. Okay, now everybody try to do it complete. Okay, lo voy a repetir yo completo y ahí ustedes lo hacen completo. Okay, Pussy Woozy was a bear. Pussy Woozy had no hair. Pussy Woozy wasn't very pussy, was he? Go ahead, everybody. Was he? Good, you're doing it good. Josué Isaías, vamos. You can do it. Aplauso para Josué. Josué, you can do it. Go, 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 go. Go, Josué. Okay. Fussy Woozy was, was a bear. Fussy Woozy had no hair. Fussy Woozy wasn't very fussy, was he? You see? The impossibles are only in your mind. Todos los imposibles viven aquí arriba. Congratulations, claps for Josué. Yeah. Él dijo, yo no puedo, yo no puedo, no me sale. And he did it. Walter René, go ahead. Walter lo tenía, vamos. Okay. Uh, Pussy Wussy was a bear. Pussy Wussy had no hair. Pussy Wussy wasn't very pussy, was he? Very good job, Walter. Excellent, very nice. Rosa Esmeralda, go ahead. Pussy Woozy was a bear. Pussy Woozy had no hair. Pussy Woozy wasn't very woozy. Was he? 
<laughs> okay, pussy, pussy. <laughs> it is curious that, that we can pronounce the pussy, but later, no. Great job, Rosita. Claps for Rosita. Yay. Jenny, go ahead. Fussy Wussy was a bear. Fussy Wussy had no hair. Fussy Wussy wasn't very fussy, was he? Very good job, Jenny. You did it. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Someone else? I need two more volunteers. Vamos a ver quién más. Dos más que se lancen al ruedo. Go ahead. Go, go, go. Fussy Wussy was a bear. Fussy Wussy wasn't very fussy, was he? Very good José Arturo. Nice. Claps for José Arturo. Cristelda, go ahead. Fussy Wussy was a bear. Fussy Wussy had no hair. Fussy Wussy was very fussy, was he? Great job, Griselda. You see, very nice, very nice. And Sandrita, go ahead. <laughs> Hey, the microphone, what happened? Very good job, Sandrita. Now let's finish with Jasmine. Solo porque ya me lo encaminó. Go ahead. <laughs> Jasmine. <laughs> Ya se lo encaminé. <laughs> ya, ya, que ya lo había, ya lo había empezado. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, ok. Um, pussy Goosey was a bear. Pussy Goosey was no hair. Pussy Goosey wasn't bear. Pussy was he. Very good job. Very good job. Claps for Jasmine. Now, let's practice the next one. The next one is what the sound woo, 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 woo. That's the sound that we're going to practice. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Ahora vamos a practicar el sonido de woo, 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 woo. That's the sound that it is involved on this one, right? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Okay. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? So, you how, can much wood, how much wood? Vamos, wood Carlito, wood. ya lo tiene. Vamos. How much wood would a good chuck chuck in a good chuck? Good chuck. Good chuck. Good. How much wood would a good chuck chuck? Good chuck. 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 Good how, how much wool? How much wool? How much wool? Wool. Wool. Con la D al final. Wool. 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 A wood chuck. A wood chuck. 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 If a wood chuck. If a wood chuck. Could, could, chuck, chuck, wood, chuck, chuck. How much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? A little bit there, 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 but I vamos. Jenny, let's see. Ay, How much good would a good chuck chuck if a good chuck could chuck good? Very good. Hey, you did it at first. Chuck, 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 chuck. Very good, very good. Carlos, chuck, go chuck, ahead. Chuck. Carlitos, How where are you? Good, good, good okay. chuck. chuck. How much good good chuck. Good, good chuck. Good. Huh? Okay, How Carlos, much... Carlos Alfredo. Go, 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 go. Okay. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Very good job, very good job. You did it. Jasmine, go ahead. Okay. And then Olivia. Uh -huh. How much good good a good chuck chuck if a good chuck could chuck wood? 
Okay, woodchuck, woodchuck. 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 ¿Saben qué es un woodchuck? Un pájaro carpintero. Okay. Olivia, go ahead. How much would a woodchuck chuck? Chuck is a wood. Uh, would a chuck call chuck good? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Practice. Rosita, bad claps for Olivia. That was very good. Rosita, go ahead. Uh, how much would a what? Would a chuck chuck if a woodchuck call chuck wood? <laughs> How much wood? Wood. 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 Would a woodchuck. Would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Okay, don't worry. I am going to send them to you for you to practice because this will be the audio for tomorrow. <clears throat> este es el audio de mañana. So you need to practice. <laughs> You need to practice for tomorrow. Ok. Y eso que a ustedes se los enseñé primero. Al otro grupo solo se los envié. <laughs> you can imagine. Se pueden imaginar los audios que recibí. Sin práctica, sin nada. Just read this one in an audio. That was terrible. But then they did it very good during class. So this will be the audio for tomorrow. I am going to send you the example, don't worry. I have three, I will send you this one as well in an audio. This one is, if two witches watch two watches, which witch will watch which watch? If two witches watch two watches, which witch will watch which watch? Okay, so I am going to send you the audio as well for you to practice. Today, we also did the practice of the adjectives, right? I sent you the audio for you to send me adjectives. Adjectives are the ones that we use to describe things, okay? Los adjetivos los ocupamos para describir cosas, personas, objetos, etc. So, there are many adjectives that we know, for example. I have here some examples. Pretty, elegant, tall, big, dangerous, Good, small, short, easy, attractive, intelligent, serious, smiley, wonderful, nice, exciting, fast, happy, sad, strong, kind, helpful, little, busy, clever, hard, interesting, beautiful, near, close, sweet, Handsome, good looking, warm, hot, difficult, boring, expensive, modern, and salty. <sighs> salty. What of these adjectives is new for you? ¿Cuál de todos esos adjetivos es nuevo para ustedes? For me, clever. Clever. For clever me, is really salty. smart. Salty. Which one? Salty. Ah, salty, for example. When you put, when you eat snacks, snacks are very salty and they're like, ah, they are good, but you keep eating. They have a lot of salt, right? And they are very salty, right? No me pagan nada por este comercial. The snacks are very salty, saladas. Okay, any other one? Only these ones? Clever. Clever is really smart, pero es, es, no es inteligente de, oh, qué brillante, pero es listo, right? It's clever. Okay, any other one? Warm. Warm, tibio. Tibio. Dever. Which one? Dever. Uh, no, clever, this clever, clever oh, is, is no, the no. same, right? Uh -huh. No, no, no. Really mal. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry. Any other one? Handsome. Handsome, guapo. Mm. And it's only for men, right? Solo es para los hombres. Yeah, beautiful is for the ladies. And good looking is for both. 
right? Good looking aplica para ambos. Okay? So all these adjectives that we have here can be used in a comparative form. The short adjectives adopt the ER form and the long adjectives use more. Okay? Si el adjetivo tiene más de una o dos sílabas, ocupa more. No, va, no le va a poner ER al final. Okay? Por ejemplo, expensive. Expensive. You have more than one syllable. And you don't say expensiver, right? Eh, I don't know. Eh, Starbucks is expensiver than Café more. Listo. So you say it's more expensive. More interesting. ¿Algún otro adjetivo largo que podamos identificar? More. More handsome. Dangerous. Ah, more easy. 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 Es un adjetivo corto. More. You don't say mm, more easy. So you say easier. Easier. Yes. Para tall, no decimos more tall. Decimos taller. Taller. For taller. small, you don't say more small. Smaller. You say smaller. smaller. Short. Smaller. Shorter. Shorter. Eh, Shorter. For example, um, nice. Nice. Nicer, 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 fast, faster, faster. happy, faster. happier, happier, happier. Sad. sadder. Sad. So you say kind, kinder, kinder. Easier. kinder, easier, easier, clever. A pesar que es un adjetivo corto, decimos more clever, right? More clever. Clever. I have seen cleverer, but it's not possible right hard harder clever uh, <laughs> and closer right sweeter warmer hotter right and for all the other ones you use more right more interesting more beautiful more handsome more good looking more difficult more expensive more boring more modern right more modern. elegant modern. more dangerous Modernness. <laughs> All right, more modern. You say attractive, more attractive, more, more attractive. intelligent, more wonderful, more exciting, right? So for the short adjectives, you use ER, and for the longer adjectives, you use more. Okay, I have some examples here. So you have short adjectives. Can you help me to read the examples, people? Longer, darker, darker, brighter, brighter, quicker, 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 warmer, 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 younger, 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 younger stronger, modern, modern, weaker, weaker, weaker neater, neater. Neither mm -hmm. is muy ordenado, sumamente ordenado. And colder and colder and older. Colder and older. Good. The next one. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Here we have. Todos nosotros lindos en clase cuando So some adjectives you have to transform them and you have to add an extra consonant. For example, you have big. Bigger, ¿ok? Si tenemos consonante, vocal, consonante, en el adjetivo, doblamos la última consonante y le agregamos R. Bigger, father, hotter, sadder, mother, 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 thinner. Thinner. ¿Ok? Thinner es más delgado que. ¿Ok? Ahora ya saben por qué el thinner se llama thinner. Porque el thinner de la pintura yes. se llama thinner, porque sirve para adelgazar la pintura. Adelgazar. Wow, thinner. Mather. Mad is like angry, right? But if someone makes you something worse, you become madder, right? We have other adjectives that are also short, but they finish in Y. Todos los que terminan en Y, que son adjetivos cortos, le agregamos otra letra más porque quitamos la Y y le hacemos IER. So you say pretty, pretty, 
prettier. Angry, angrier. Angrier. Happier. 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 Busier. Busier. Lovely. Lovelier. Lovelier. Sillier. Sleepy. Sleepier. 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 Right? Thirsty. Thirsty that you always need water. Ugly. Uglier. 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 Good. Very good. I have other verbs. For example, these ones, these adjectives, sorry, finish in E. Esos terminan en E. No le vamos a agregar otra E. You don't say closer, wiser, stranger. No. You say closer, solo le agregamos la R. Closer, wiser, stranger, huger, stranger, ruder, loser, loser, safer, safer, cuter, cuter, gentler, gentler, simpler, simpler. Okay, what is the meaning of loser? It's not the loser that you know, right? Lose, el adjetivo lose con doble O es flojo. So, and if it is loser, it's más flojo que, for example, with the jeans. No sé si ustedes vivieron allá por el 2000, 2002. Que se, o sea, unos jeans que eran como, como este tamaño, la campana, right? So, it was loser than the others. And in this case, we only add the R, right? And here, I have the examples of these ones, right? With the R. And this is what I was telling you, okay? Si ya tiene dos sílabas o más, you use more. Can you help me to read the examples, people? More. More interesting. Uh, more interesting. 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 More complete. Interesting. More complete. More beautiful. More important. More dangerous. More colorful. More, more exciting. More exciting. More complicated. More boring. More boring. Orient. Here, I have the special adjectives, right? The special adjectives with the comparative form. Good, you don't say gooder, okay? Es que cheese is gooder than cream. Better. No, cheese is better than cream, okay? Bad, you don't say badder, okay? Worst. Well, worse. you don't say... Weller, you say it's better. So you can say classical better. music, classical music is better than reggaeton for sure. Far, que es lejos, yeah. say farther, farther. It's not farther, okay? Farther. 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 So these are special cases of adjectives. And for sure, I have here the practice with the adjectives in the comparative form as well. I need you to compare, compare two things. In the comparative sentences, you have chocolate cake is more delicious than lemon pie. This is one example. What is something that is cheaper than in my country? Um. Can you compare two things that are cheaper? Um, the house uh, Samsung and uh, uh, the... Apple uh, here in El Salvador right it's, it's yes. cheap Samsung is cheaper aha uh -huh. what is the meaning of cheaper that's a very good question I can mm -hmm. say for example uh, sodas are cheaper than water in my country las sodas son más baratas que el agua in my country. <laughs> what is what is another thing that is cheaper in El Salvador? Uh, don pollo is cheaper than pollo campero. <laughs> good. <laughs> Indeed, it is, right? Very good sentence, right? Don pollo, right? And you have here. Don pollo is cheaper than Pollo campero, and it's the same thing. It's on iguales. Son de la misma familia, son del mismo dueño. 
Don Pollo is cheaper than Pollo Campero in my country. Ajá. Is taller than. Es más alto que. Yeah. Let's compare two tall people or two tall examples. Shaquille O'Neal is Ajá. taller than me. Than me. Okay. <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal <laughs> is taller than me. Right. Than About everybody here, right? Ya. Yeah. Y miren que yo soy una mujer bien alta, porque mido 1.75. Oh. Ah, pero Shaquille O'Neal mide como dos y no sé cuánto. So, he is taller than me. And you and everybody here. Older than, que está más mayor que. Um. Older than. My father is older than my uncle. Okay, my father is older than my uncle. Very good, very good sentence. The next one, are more expensive than, son más caros que. How would you make a sentence with this one? The house, the houses are more expensive than uh, car. Okay, the houses are more expensive than the cars. Very good job. With beautiful, can you create a sentence with beautiful in the comparative form? Hmm. Yeah. My mom is more beautiful than others, mom. <laughs> My mom is more beautiful than other people's mom. And that's a sentence for everybody. Yo creo que se lo ocupamos todos. No, my mother is more beautiful than your mother. And then the other one, no, my mother is more beautiful than your mother. So, and we end up fighting. Y después nos terminamos peleando todos. Stylish. Más modernos, más estilizados. Stylish. Think about one with the stylish. The generation uh, old, the old, the old generation, the old generation had more stylish than than actual generation. Okay, in this case, we don't say had. You say was. was. The old generations. Was. Okay, oh, and if it is plural, you say the old generations were more stylish than the actual generations. Modern. Modern. The computer is more modern than a cell phone. The computer is more modern than the cell phone. Very good job. And big. Um. My house is bigger what is the than Very good. Your bigger house. than? Yes, I guess. Mm, yes, your house is bigger than my house. <laughs> my house is bigger than Carlos. Has. Costa Rica is bigger than El Salvador. Costa Rica is bigger than El Salvador. Very good job. Guatemala is bigger than Costa Rica. Yeah. And the United States, no, Mexico is bigger than Guatemala. And the United States is bigger than Mexico. And Canada is bigger. Than... <laughs> Canada and we can go all, all and on and on and on. It's a so, biggest change. Yeah, it's a big change, right? And for sure, it, that's the form that you use with the comparatives, right? Uh, there are many other examples that I can give you, but I am going to share the page with all the examples for you. So when you use... The comparatives, you need to be very careful on the form of the comparative, on the letters that you add. Lo más importante es que no le agreguen una terminación que no es al comparativo, right? The most important thing is that you use the adjective in the correct form. And if you go to your manual, si se van a su manual, you have a short, you have a short conversation there. I don't know if you have it. Yo creo que todos lo han descargado, todos lo tienen, ¿sí? ¿Sí o no? 
Ah, lo dudo. No, 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 no es que lo tengan ahorita, pero yo sé que todos lo tienen descargado. And in the manual that you have, we have a short conversation about the comparative forms, right? And it is uh, on unit number two at the end, right? When you are comparing the different uh, professions. And here we have with verbs, with past participles. Let me show it to you before I leave, okay? Here you have a short practice with comparatives and superlatives, okay? This is on your book as well. And you have here comparisons with adjectives, with nouns, with the verbs, and with participles, okay? And here you have a little practice as well. So you can work on these sentences. We are going to use them tomorrow. And we are going to check the platform tomorrow as well. So uh, have it ready, okay? Busquen el ejercicio en la unidad 2 al final. Están los comparativos. And you will have this little practice there, okay? So work on that on your manual. And I am going to work on that with you tomorrow. Well, my dear students, I am going to see you tomorrow. Have a beautiful night. And we are going to have a beautiful class tomorrow as well. Practice your tongue twisters. Ya se lo voy a enviar por ahí. Bye-bye. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Good night.